Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about, when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, because this day marks the nine-month period after her Immaculate Conception on December 8th. As the popular saying goes, in every ending there is a new beginning. On the birthday of Mary, we say goodbye to the unofficial end of summer, as we begin to usher in the fall season But what an unconventional summer this has been. What was also unconventional was the salvation history of all humankind on earth, advancing a step closer through the nativity of the mother of God, Mary. Through her, the hope and salvation of all humanity will reign victorious in this world in the person of Jesus Christ. Especially as we end the initial brunt of this COVID pandemic, let us prepare for the beginning of a new reality that this unprecedented event in our generation has prompted, that despite the challenges and strains associated with change may bring, the opportunities for growth and wisdom and strength are never too far away. Through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, may we also receive the courage to say yes, to change amidst confusion and uncertainty, because God is always with us. Emmanuel. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and courageous day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.